Good morning, folks. We focus on the oceans today with a look at storms as well. There are connections to other stories we've heard about, and of course, we'll start with space weather. A day of decreasing intensity across most indices, the incoming bright active region on the north and the coronal hole to its south are strongly visible approaching center disk, but the sunspot group itself is actually decaying under the Earth-facing solar quiet effect. Surface magnetism remains, but the umbral cores are shrinking and disappearing one by one. Meanwhile, the solar wind stream at Earth continues to weaken and return to normal background levels. Earth's magnetic field is in recovery mode as all is quiet. It is that coronal hole that is likely to be more important, and today you can compare its solid structure to the sparser black turning to the western limb. That coronal hole is connecting to Earth now, and we've got a 72-hour increased risk for the high magnitude 6 range or larger earthquakes. Right now we're going to Woods Hole, where the Atlantic overturning circulation has been found to be at its weakest point in more than a thousand years. This hugely bucks the notion that it increased power the last few decades, and in fact, has significant implications for the heat release cycle and the cold water return to deep circulation. It is notable that we have just recently heard about the ocean motion amplifying Earth's magnetic field, and it just so happens this churning is weakening in the Atlantic, where the weakest magnetic fields on Earth can be found. Coincidence, I'm sure. Now, how about this? Heck of a flight path, eh? Now, as if this picture of efficiency isn't enough, let's look at the altitude profile for the flight. Okay, so what were they doing here? Apparently, this was a NASA DC-8 that was attempting to find pollution levels over remote waters. They found an unthinkable amount of this yellowish haze that actually obscured the ocean above parts of the Arctic, indicating that their models of climate are missing large releases from things like wildfires in Siberia that do seem to concentrate over some remote regions. Basically, they must now account for all this extra stuff when trying to explain the climate in their models. Lastly, folks, the upward segment of the global electric circuit, the exciting part. Currents flow down in high pressure fair weather, but this is how the Earth releases them back. You'll recall we are closely following the progress of ESA Storm Hunter. It is up there, it is installed, and calibration efforts begin. Best of luck to that entire team. Folks, it is Saturday, so your Fly on the Wall podcast is coming up. We'll be on the chat page at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, probably a little before that. More storms coming in the U.S. tonight. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.